Hi guys, what's up? How you doing? It is Brianna Muller Green and I am the co-owner of designfordollars.com. And I am checking in with you on a Monday to see how y'all are doing. Um, I want to walk you through this uh, pod directory that we put together over at D4D because it's amazing and it keeps evolving because I can't stop, right? <laughs> I keep it. I keep adding to it. So um, let me get this uh, broadcast shared. Um, if you're not already following my business page, you can find that at Brianna Muller Green. You've probably seen it. It has uh, e-com entrepreneur on it and I share a lot of business information over there. Um, like I said, I'm the co-owner of Design for Dollars. Um, so I'm going to share over there. And I'm also the co-host of the Merch Money YouTube show with my merch girls, um, Amy Springer and Helen Kinson. Um, so I gotta share that with that crew. Okay, there we go. Uh, which by the way, um, at Merch Money, we have a show every Monday night and we have one tonight, uh, eight o'clock live. And we are going to talk to um, Deanna about uh, social media and Instagram. I'm so excited. Um, uh, you know how much I yap about Instagram. And I'm always saying, you got to be over on Instagram. Make sure you're over on Instagram. Um, and so I can't wait to pick her brain tonight um, and talk about that. That's at 8 o'clock. I'll share the link uh, for that with you guys in a little bit. All right. Um, and then also... I am the co-owner of Merch and Pod Tools, which is um, a newer group that some of you guys are already in it. Um, we've kind of been revamping it and um, steering directions with it. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. Uh, and then, um, of course, I saw the exciting news about Merch Wizard and Orbit Kits. Um, and so that's going to be uh, pretty exciting. I'll talk about that more later. Um, all right. Where'd you guys go? I got to find the right tab. <laughs> all right, cool. So let me get right into it. Let me show you guys the, um, find you here. I'm going to share and I'm going to get right into the pod directory. Listen, we made this at design for dollars because there's so many amazing print on demand uh, partners that we can work with. And we were having a hard time organizing and making decisions about our own businesses because it, it's hard to, uh, when there are, I mean, there's gotta be hundreds, right? I think I've got over 80 listed on this pod directory, but you know, I needed to know, does it have a Shopify integration and an Etsy integration, or is it just one? Or is it a standalone pod, right? Like some of these print on demand marketplaces are their own marketplaces. They have their own traffic, their own organic traffic. And so you don't necessarily push the designs anywhere you list on their marketplace. And so I thought it was really important to discern between the two because all of us are running different business models. I do have listings on places like uh, Redbubble and Zazzle where um, there's there's organic traffic already visiting those stores over there, which of course you can beef up with, you know, advertising and using Instagram and everything. So I, I do some of that, but I, I'm also very interested in what's out there for Etsy because as you know, uh, all of us at D4D, we all sell on Etsy. Um, of course, uh, we sell on Amazon Seller Central. And so I've noted that in the directory as well, because there are some pods where you can upload a design once, right? into like a hub, we'll call it. And then um, the pod has integrations set up with let's say Amazon and or Etsy and or Shopify, where with literally a couple clicks in the button, you can push your, um, your product into various marketplaces without having to start from scratch on each one and without having to create listings. There are some pods that have um, like uh, bulk uploading so uh, you upload a design one time and then it automatically applies it over everything. And so then you just choose which products you wanna include in your product line. Um, so 
these are the types of things that I decided I wanted to um, point out because I was having a hard time making the decisions myself. So let me um, go ahead and um, get this shared. Uh, where are you guys? There we go. Okay. So whoop. this, um, when you get to the pod directory, it's, it's um, just hit the link, obviously. If you're a D4D community member already, it will look a little different to you, but you'll be able to access the pod directory right in your dashboard, in your free D4D account. If you're new to D4D and you hit that link, it will walk you through the process of setting up your free account so that you can get this free link. It's updated uh, every day. Um, we have employees that are in there working on it. Um, and there are things that have to be updated, um, maybe not daily, but certainly weekly. Um, as we talk to and work with some of these pods. So there are two ways that you can view this. You can view it gallery view, or you can go with the main view. So I like the main view for um, quick comparison and sorting purposes. And then I like the gallery view for more uh, visual analysis, we'll call it, so that I can scan through at a glance and find something quickly based on, uh, we uploaded all of the logos so that it's a lot easier for you to identify the pod and, and get to the website and know you're at the right spot. So I did go live um, last week to talk a little bit about the different things that are on here. So I'm gonna point out a couple of things that I think you guys will find uh, super handy and super convenient. So the first thing, obviously, it's nice to see the logo, but um, the, the websites, like it, it's just nice to have a document where you can click through real quick, right? So if you want to compare Teespring, Spreadshirt, and Threadless, right here we have the links that you can click on. And um, when you're in uh, main view, it works a little bit better. Um, we have the main link set up so that you can click on, let's say, let's, let's check one out. Let's check out Custom Cat, okay? Custom Cat, by the way, um, awesome. Uh, I, do, I don't use them yet. I haven't up, um, used their Shopify integration yet. However, um, Aaron and Duncan use Custom Cat. And I looked at the, um, the product selection. Holy cow, unreal. So I'll talk more about that at a future date, but uh, what I loved about Custom Cat and what I found when we were putting this together is um, that they um, offer things that I really wanted to put in my product line, like the dry fit, sweat wicking, athletic type gear, um, and varsity jackets. I'm like obsessed with getting some kind of like varsity jackets made um, and other coats too. They have like, like nice substantial coats. It, you'll get lost looking at their products because it's just super exciting. But the convenience of this Airtable is so that you can just pop right out into, um, into these websites very quickly. You can also find their Facebook pages really quickly. So the next link will direct you to their Facebook page so you can kind of get a feel for if they are posting regularly, if they're um, relevant. You can kind of you know scan down through to see how many other people like them. Um, you know, are they posting uh, tutorials on how to use their service? Other links of interest you'll find in here. Let me go back to the visual view because I like that better. Um, you'll also find, let's look down here, all of the available products, whether they're US, France, UK, like where are they based out of? Um, the, the international shipping from outside of the US into the US does not scare me in the least. I have shipped the most ridiculously large items out of the US and into the US. It does not scare me. There are a lot of non-US based pods that are still great options, whether you want a presence in the UK or whether you want to ship back to the US. A lot of them that are credible have turnaround times that are very similar to US based. So if you find one on the sheet, um, I'm, I'm in this directory that has you know, amazing reviews. Don't let that scare you at all. But of course, there are plenty of US-based ones as well. Available products, this is the, the piece that is going to be consistently evolving. So I started out by being very vague, apparel, home decor. But I think it's going to be more useful if we get down to the nitty gritty of importing 
all of the products in here. That's a lot, but the beauty of that is what you can do in the main view is you will be able to sort by, um, let's see here, pick a field to sort by. Let's say I want to sort by available products, right? And I want to know who has the most. And then maybe I want to sort by um, integration because I want to know who integrates with Etsy. And then maybe I want to sort. So you can go down through this and sort by the products that they're offering, sort by um, anything, any variable you want to take a look at. Um, we're even adding in here like, uh, we're noting if they offer organic stuff. And I'm, I'm really trying to point out at first, um, as we're continuing to fill this in, we're adding new pods every day, but we're also trying to really, really beef up and be more specific here in the products available because apparel to me does not help. I need to know like, do they have leggings? Do they have capris? Do they have yoga shorts? Do they have dry fit? Do they, you know? So we're trying to get that specific for you guys. Next column is whether they offer the batch uploading. Art of Wear does offer batch designing, meaning you can take one, um, one design and upload it to a bunch of products like very quickly. Emails are here so that you can quickly get in contact with them if you need to. Uh, most of them take a transparent PNG file, but we're indicating if you can use other files. Integrations, right? Uh, Bonfire is a standalone marketplace. You're going to go over there upload your designs and sell them on that marketplace. Arch of Wear has a bunch of different options here, right? A Shopify integration, an Etsy integration, Customized Girl, that has an actual web storefront. So you, you, it has a web website builder right, right within it. Shopify app link. So, you know, the main goal, if you want to do something that is full-time e-com and that is really sustainable, would obviously be to build a brand on Shopify with Pod if you wanna go the route of not having to touch physical inventory. And the easiest way to build websites now with print on demand is to use Shopify because it's really user friendly. It takes web development, e-commerce and Pod and puts them all together. And we have access to all of these apps that some are free, some are paid, but they make our lives easier. And so I'm indicating where I can if there is a Shopify app that you can download. And again, many of them are free just to download and play around with them to see if it's something that you want to use. Printing methods, in case you guys are looking for, you know, all over prints, um, like sub sublimation. Maybe I'll add that in there, by the way. Let me do this right now. Uh, edit, customize. There we go. So we'll start noting that too. Um, apparel brands, some of them are, uh, some of them have so many apparel brands, it would be like, uh, I don't know how many different brands we would have to list here. But if there are some that stand out, again, if they're you know very direct about the fact that they like to work with American Apparel or Animal or whatever, that's indicated. Base cost of t-shirts are here, just so you can kind of get an idea uh, for cost of goods. Commission payments, most of them are using PayPal. Most of them are shipping worldwide. Here are like the estimates on their turnaround time. For the most part, these um, estimates include processing and printing. Um, I know from 20 years of shipping with US Postal Service, FedEx, UPS, DHL, that anywhere within the US is like the actual shipping time for items of this weight is very quick. It's like two to three days maximum from coast to coast. So um, a lot of these days, like eight to 12, um, unless they're international, a lot of these days will include um, the entire process. Now this one uh, for cust Custom Cat, I believe, they are one of the uh, fastest in uh, turnaround time for shipping to our customers. Product and file specs. What I'm doing here is, <clears throat> I'll show you on Cafe Press. And I'm moving power. One second. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to link to the file or the page that provides the file specs that we need to use or the little strategies for navigating over on their pod that make things different. For instance, like the page that would give you the templates for um, their sublimated products or for 
their clocks that maybe take a different file. So where we, it's not always easy to find these pages. So when I run across them, we're adding those to, um, to the directory. Affiliate programs. I'm um, a, a strong advocate for using affiliate um, opportunities where it's relevant and where it makes sense. There are some people that don't even physically make designs in pod, but they have pod based businesses where they actually just advertise on the behalf of other designers, other t-shirt companies by using their affiliate program. And in some cases you get paid quite the percentage of the sales, like 20 to 25% with some of these companies. So you, what you can do is you can build a, a regular website, a really basic website that exists with all affiliate um, links. And um, so, if there's an affiliate program that I can easily identify or find, um, I've added the link in there for you. In the notes section, anything that I feel is a standout feature of the pod. For instance, um, the other day uh, I did um, an interview with Electric Creations and the standout thing for them is they have, you know, your standard t-shirts and your standard hoodies, but they also have LED lighted um, hoodies and apparel and shoes. And so it's kind of cool that if you're in a space like maybe video gaming, um, it would be awesome because you are going to have access to their regular apparel, but you're also going to have access to this really cool LED stuff. And so I'll note that in the notes. Um, and then did I put this? Okay. This was what I skipped over quickly. Um, this is pretty blank right now for this D4D spotlight. But what this is, is um, some of these pods have agreed to do um, three interviews or Q and A sessions with our community. And so the first one to step up was Electric Creations with Bernardo uh, who owns it. And so um, I've got a link here. We're trying to keep them short. I know I'm a talker and I'll go on forever because I, I, I just love this stuff, um, but we're doing some short, sweet pod spotlights with a lot of these companies. And so you're gonna be able to find the direct link here in case it's one where you're really, really interested and you just want a little bit more information. Um, there's a uh, couple, so again, the first one was Electric Creation, but uh, we've got a lineup of others that are uh, graciously giving us their time to uh, talk to us and answer our questions. And so you'll see each of the pod spotlights is very similar. Um, Actually, those of you that are in the D4D community helped me come up with the questions that we felt we really, really needed answered um, directly from them. So things like turnaround time, special products, how do they handle, you know, uh, returns and things of that nature. So, um, all right, cool. Woo! That was a lot of talking at once. At not even 10 or not even 11 in the morning. Um, let me see if you guys are all good or if you have any questions. Um, let's see here. Helen and Ryan. Hi guys. Thank you for joining. Um, all right, cool. So I think we're good. I gotta go. I have 10 million things I gotta do. So, uh, don't forget though, we have the, uh, merch money show tonight at eight o'clock and we'll have Deanna on and I'll post the link to that in a little bit. Um, hit that link to have access to the um, ultimate pod directory from D4D. And we'll keep updating that as I go on my wild rabbit trails of finding other pod opportunities for us. And, um, you know, if you're catching this on Facebook and you know anyone else that wants to build more of a flexible lifestyle for themselves or an online income stream of some sort, please share this with them. Like, comment with your questions. We try to respond to every single comment and question we get. It's difficult, but we try. So, um, so please do that. If you have any questions uh, for us at Design for Dollars, our customer service email is d4d, like the number four, d4d email at gmail.com. If you are catching this as a replay on YouTube, please hit that bell, subscribe, and same thing, like and, and share with anyone else that you think might benefit from the content. Um, Cause that's what, that's what we're about. I just wanna help people leave jobs that they hate and build flexible lifestyles for themselves with where they get to choose what they want to do all day. So 
Uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And again, I am Brianna Muller-Green and I will talk to you guys later.